Come in. Hi. Hello, Anita. I'm Matt. I'm your nurse practitioner. So, yesterday we had the colonoscopy, and we did tell you we did see the lesions, and we took a biopsy of them and we sent them to the lab. Uh, I'm calling today because I spoke with your primary physician, and it is, we, they did come back malignant. What was that? Uh, I'm really sorry to have to tell you this, but you do have colon cancer. Are you sure? The, yeah, we got the report back from the lab, and it's very conclusive. What are we doing now? What we're going to do is I'm going to introduce you to a friend of mine. He's one of the best oncologists in the country. He's right at Lehigh Valley Hospital. And we're going to get, we'll get you all the resources you need. We'll find this and do whatever you want. We're going to take care of you very well. Good job going, Lucy. Uh, just really busy. She's my favorite nurse. Hi, how are you today? I'm good. That's good. I just wanted to let you know that the tech just gave me your vitals and everything's good. So I just um, put them in the computer. But I, I know that your daughter has a couple questions for me. Mm -hmm. Yes. Hi. My name is Lucy. Hi, Hi Lucy. Nice, nice to meet you. So did you have anything in particular that you wanted to talk about or just um, everything basically? Everything. I've just been really busy so I kind of don't really know what's going on besides that. I understand. Yeah. Okay, well, I can start from the beginning and fill you in on everything. That'd be great. Okay, well, your mom, after her initial diagnosis, she came to us here at Lehigh Valley Hospital, and um, she had her first round of testing done, and basically she had an MRI and a CAT scan and a bunch of blood work, and we found that she, her cancer had metastasized. What did that mean? Um, basically that her cancer had spread to different organs in her body. Where? We found that it had spread to her small bowels, um, her stomach, and her liver. So, it's a lot. so after that, she and the doctors, they met together and they collaborated a plan of treatment that she was going to um, go through. And um, your mom made the decision and she basically wanted to do a multifocal approach, which is three, a three-way approach, and it was basically um, chemotherapy, radiation, and surgery. That's what they decided on. All right, and um, what has been the result? Well, before, before we started with that, we had introduced her to a set of specialists that would help her um, throughout this course of treatment. And they consisted of the nutritionist, a physical therapist, a chaplain, and we referred her to a bunch of support groups for colon cancer for people who survived, who are fighting it. Okay. You don't have to worry. They're treating me so well here. I'm so popular. They, they come in from every hour at least, if not more, and they're, they're taking my, my vital signs. Yeah. And, and they had nutritionists come in, and she lets me eat ice cream, so I like her. And they, they're trying to get me to eat um, it was iron, right? Iron. iron. They tried to give me my iron because she might have made blood cells. Yeah. Yeah. And, and then, then, oh, after surgery, I had this really cute PT. And he just he created me around my hospital gown. Oh, I felt like such a dignitary. So, so popular. But then the chaplain, they had a chaplain come in and he prayed with me. Oh, he made me feel so good. Oh, and I met this girl at support group who recommended me um, to another special nurse educator. Yeah. And she told me about the nifty little wraps you can put in your head since I lost all my hair. And I have so many different us. colors. Oh, yeah, they're so much fun. The, the cancer turbans. Yeah, a lot of people like she that. Like it. Oh, that's like that. He's, he's younger. He's kind of your age. If you're interested, I could probably look you out. I'm popular with him. But let's just focus on you right now. Okay. So then... With all this um, being done, we set up, we have a group of interventions that we do for patients. And basically, the first um, set of interventions is to help prevent issues that can occur. And then the second set, um, they're designed to help treat anything that um, is going on with your mom. And then the third set is to help maintain her optimal level of health for anything that we can't fix or cure. So those were the three different styles. Mm -hmm. We tried all of them, and 
I mean, they did help you the intervention, like with the wigs, and our educator um, talked to her about the wigs and the turban wrap and the nutritionist. And then the chaplain. So after this, she had her first round of chemo therapy, and that was to consolidate the tumors. And then after her first round of chemotherapy, we um, the surgeons went in and they removed all the tumors that they could physically get at. And then all the other ones that were inoperable, that were like kind of on the other organs that they couldn't reach, um, she had radiation done. Turn back now. You and me. So then after all of this, we did further tests and um, we did a recent follow-up scan. And we saw that her, her she wasn't responding to any of the treatments. And this is what her doctor um, had explained to her that he would recommend, you know, further treatments, but ultimately this is your, the decision that your mom has to make, and you, and your family, so. Explain to her any options? Yeah, we explain hospice care and how there's um, different types of nurses that do alternative therapies, like Reiki, they can come out to your home. some soothing music for you. Supposed to be. 